Have you ever heard of a soda bottle that was closed with a marble? On this episode of Antique Bottle Stories. Hiram Codd was born in 1838 and died in 1887. He became a mechanical engineer when he was 23, while he was working for the British and Foreign Cork Company. He greatly improved the production of corks, and even though he was very good at his job, he recognized a need for better bottle filling machines and a new type of closure to reduce the need for corks. At age 24, he researched and measured the flow of liquids, and in 1870, he patented a bottling machine. To understand the mineral water trade better and to prove the worth of his invention, he experimented at a small mineral water works on Caledonian Road in London. When Cod was 34, he was introduced to Richard Barrett of London, whose two sons owned the Malvern Mineral Water Company. Barrett became Cod's partner. This enabled Cod to continue his research into the globe stopper idea, and in particular the tool used to form the groove in the lip of the bottle, which I'll show you later. And in 1873, when he was 35, he perfected his globe stopper bottle, which is a bottle filled under gas pressure which pushed a marble against a rubber washer in the neck, creating a perfect seal. Even though he named it the globe stopper bottle, it eventually just became known as a cod bottle. Even today, any bottle closed with a marble, no matter who manufactured it, it's called a cod bottle. Check out this clever design. First, the bottle is very thick and heavy to withstand the pressure of the carbonation of the soda. The marble sits against a rubber seal inside the lip of the bottle. Can you see that? There's a special groove tool that Cod invented that makes this groove so that the rubber can sit inside there. So to open it, the marble would be up against the seal and you could either press it in with your finger or Cod actually invented a little tool that you could push the marble down with. So look how this bottle is pinched in the middle. It's to prevent the marble from falling down. Then you have the issue of if you were to turn the bottle to drink out of it or to pour it, now the marble would clog the hole. So that's where he invented this other little piece where he put these two little notches in the bottle right here. And so now whenever you go to pour it, those little notches hold back the marble from clogging up the hole. So that way you can drink it or you can pour it without the marble getting in the way. So then to reseal the bottle, you would just shake the bottle and then the carbonation would push the marble back up into the seal again. Here's the bottle opener that Cod invented. You just kind of place this over the top and it would pop the marble down. Mineral water and soda manufacturers who wanted to use Cod's globe stopper bottles had to pay a yearly fee for a license to use his patent bottle. By mid-1873, he had granted 20 licenses and received another 50 applications. This was boosted further by a trade show held in London in the same year. By 1874, when he was 36, he changed it up a little bit, and now the license was free to bottle manufacturers as long as they purchased the marbles, the sealing rings, and used his groove tool. Cod had two factories in London solely producing marbles, one in Kennington and the other in Camberwell, which was run by F. Barrett, one of the sons of Richard Barrett. In 1881, Richard Barrett's health started to fail, so he retired and passed the management of the Cod's patents solely to Hiram Cod. His Malvern Mineral Waterworks and both marble producing factories continued to thrive. In 1877, when he was 39, he started a separate partnership with Ben Rylands and started the Hope Glassworks in Barnsley. In 1880, Hiram Codd 
opened an American agency to sell his bottles at 22 Commerce Street in New York. Here's the best picture I could find of this address. Hiram Codd, Daniel Rylands, and Thomas Rylands were all listed with the firm during that year. Also in 1886, the Whitney brothers in Glassboro, New Jersey began production of the Codd bottles. Hiram Codd and Ben Rylands remained partners until Rylands died in 1881. Rylands' son, Dan, replaced his father, but they didn't get along from the start. In 1882, they patented the crystal valve, which was Ryland's improvement on Cod's idea, and Cod resented Ryland's interference. Their partnership ended in 1884. Cod's wife had just died that year, and Cod allowed Dan Ryland's to buy him out. A couple years later, Cod died at age 49 in 1887, and Ryland's continued the production of Cod stopper bottles under his own name. Although Dan Rylands committed suicide in 1910, his business continued production of cod stopper bottles until 1926. The cod bottle suddenly went out of fashion in favor of the new screw top and crown caps. Cod's patented globe stopper bottle is still manufactured in India. Cod neck bottles are also mass produced for the popular Japanese soft drink Ramune. One website said that the seal on these were so good that there are actually 100-year-old bottles that are unopened and they're still sealed. Apparently, many of these bottles were destroyed by kids so that they could get the marble inside. Well, if you've never seen a cod bottle before today, I hope you enjoyed learning about it. I think they should make a comeback here in the States. See you next time. Thanks for watching.